Hello my queens, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Okay. So yes, it's true. Gymshark's launching a ton of new training colors. We're talking sports bras, shorts, leggings, some toppings like hoodies and things like that. So I have quite, quite a big haul, over 20 pieces to share with you guys. I don't have one of everything, but I got quite a bit to share with you. So guys, this is not gonna be an in-depth review. Been there, done that. I have a video, full-fledged video of the training collections, bras, leggings, you name it. I did the damn thing on that already. So this is just me showcasing new colors, very beautiful colors that they've never come out with before. So, whew, you wait. Guys, very soon, I'm going to be hitting 100 Gymshark videos on this channel. I almost can't like believe that. So if you're somebody who loves Gymshark as much as I do, definitely consider subscribing. I review everything Gymshark. I've been reviewing them for over two years now and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I absolutely get thrilled just being able to talk about Gymshark. So even before I started working with them, I was reviewing, I was buying, I was doing massive hauls. It's been an addiction for over two years and I still feel the same way, okay? I'm, I'm absolutely in love with them. Almost every single Gymshark new release I'm reviewing before it hits the site. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on future launches. For example, the training, okay? Doing a little bit of that today. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Unfortunately, I do not know of any release date yet for this new training but you know the second that I do, I will have it in the description box of this video. Everything in this video will be linked below once it becomes available. And I'll also be shouting it out and announcing on stories. So no matter what, you can count on me on Instagram stories to always be announcing when things are releasing and restocking. So definitely follow your girl on IG. Subscribe to this channel, it helps me out so much because together we got this. All right, guys, we're starting this haul off with the Gymshark training sports bras. Everything is in a size small. That's my true size. I just want to let you know that these sports bras that I have are low and medium support, no high impact. Sorry. I don't need high support sports bras because I got nothing here to support. All right, queen? So if you do, good for you, but you ain't going to see no high support here. I'm sorry, girl. In case I get questions, I'm actually pairing at these sports bras with the white crest training shorts. I know they sold out when they launched. Did you guys see that restock? I mentioned it in stories. Okay, so first up, we're gonna be checking out the V-neck training. Oh, girl, this is my favorite of the favorite. Fun fact, AG, she don't wear bras anymore. It's just the training range sports bras I wear as my actual bra. I'm talking underneath tank tops when I go out, when I do this at, I have like one in every color because I like to wear these bras as actual bras. So the V-neck training, in case you're unfamiliar, has a back thong. That's what I like to call it, a nice back thong. These are made for a back day. These are actually one of their low support sports bras, but I love them because they just make the girls look so voluptuous. So this fun color they're coming out with is pink. I think on the label it's called polka pink, but I'm gonna just go with pink because it might look different on the website. Back games. Like I said, V-neck, that's made for back day. Nothing high intense, I'm not jumping around in it, but it's just enough to look sexy on the back because that back thong, that back thong is just sexiness for your back, period. Okay guys, so we have another V-neck in this beautiful, I think they're calling it biscotti brown. Okay. I love a nude bra, man. <laughs> guys, if you're unfamiliar with the training range as a whole, it's actually one of Gymshark's more affordable ranges. So if you're on a budget, check out training, all right? Even though these are lower support, I still wear them to the gym, lifting weights and doing the damn thing. This is totally like a camel color a very pretty nude. It's not too dark, not too light. Bay says this color makes me look like I'm naked. I don't know. You comment down below. First glance, did you think I was topless? Okay, lastly for the V-neck, AKA back thong, we have the lemonade color they're coming out with. Ugh. They're hooking you up with all the summer vibes this summer. 
summer. <laughs> the V-necks do not adjust. There's no adjustments whatsoever. I actually prefer no adjustments because I don't like the little, I don't prefer, I should say, the little plastic pieces on the back. When I lean on a bench to do heavy hip thrusts, I started noticing that my back has little baby bruises where the plastic was. So for some reason, man, like leaning on that bench, the plastic just becomes uncomfortable. So I'm really glad that they came out with really super flattering sports bras that make the girls look good because we all trying to look good up in here. But at the same time, it's, it's functional, it works, and it's super true to size. I would not size down and I would not size up in this. Even bent over for low support, the boobies are not going anywhere. So lemonade, really nice pale pastel yellow. Yeah, it'll go with anything. So this is a beautiful range to just mix and match your heart out. These training bras are the bras that I use to even intermix with other collections. They're perfect for that. They're affordable like that. Get those training bras, ladies. You won't regret it. Okay, guys, we're moving on to the ruched training bras. So I have one in their new coconut white color. So it's not a pure white. If you look closely, you can see the difference between like the pure white crest shorts and the coconut white has almost like a drop, I mean a drop of tan in it. So it's a coconut color, all right? <laughs> So the training ruched is one of my favorites as well. It's more of a medium support sports bra. You have the little ruched in between. Kind of gives a little bit of dimension to the girls here. They are adjustable. You do have a crisscross in the back with two little plastic adjustments. So if you need something that you can have the liberty to adjust, then maybe look into the ruched training bras. Okay, so check out this glitch yellow color they're coming out with, a neon. This is definitely in the neon category. Neon yellow with like a little bit of green, all right? So it's a yellowy green color. Mm. These bras really just do it for me. They give me such a boob job, it's insane. I know I say that in every video, but not even regular bras can make my titties look this good. Just saying. What do you guys think of the ruched? I think that it is so flattering. It's like a scrunch butt for your tatas. All right, I think it helps to kind of mm, differentiate the two a bit. Ooh. Here we go. This is the scoop training bras we're about to look at. Bay thinks this looks gray. What color do you see in this camera right now? Because this is actually a dark brown. <laughs> They're coming out with some mixtures of fall colors right now, intermixed with the really bright, fun, summery colors. So trust me when I say, there's gonna be a color for everybody launching. And I'm sorry, but we can't forget that our Australian babes are living in the winter right now, okay? It's winter for them. You deserve your winter com comers. <laughs> you deserve your winter colors, goddammit. So yeah, this one is their Penny Brown, I believe that they're calling it. Guys, again, when I call it like Penny Brown and things like that, this is just the label name. I'm not sure what it'll be on the website. This will probably be simplified to just a dark brown. That's usually how they do it. Don't get it twisted, this is not the Whitney Brown, that warm chocolatey brown. This is more of a cooler tone brown. You can actually, like Bay said, he saw it as gray. There's tinges of gray in this sports bra. But yeah, so this is the scoop neck. This is a medium support sports bra. It is adjustable. This is a little more straightforward, all right? You got the scoop neck and you just have the regular double-sided straps. It's a little bit thicker than the sports bras that you just saw. So, so the V-neck and the training had the really itty bitty straps. This is a little bit thicker. So if you're not a fan of the little tiny ones that might dig in, this is a lot more padded and comfortable right here on your clavicle. So far, each sports bra I've talked about has removable bra pads. It's the higher support sports bras that do not have removable bras. They're stitched in. Hot mommy. <laughs> Hot mommy wow. This iris purple is such a pretty neony lavender purple. It is really in your face. It is such a sexy, beautiful, yet classy color at the same time. I could go on and on. I love it so much. So this is again the scoop neck. Very straightforward. The thing I love about the training range, their sports bras do not give me any side boob action at all. Even for the low and moderate support sports bras like these, there's no side boob action. So when I'm like on the ground, I don't have to worry about boobs hanging out. Their quality, especially for the price, these bras are my absolute favorite. From far away, I feel like the Irish purple could look white. That's how light 
and such a tender color it is, but up close you can really see it's just a vibrant neon-y, but yet super light pastel -y purple. Okay guys, so I actually have one and only one of the Racerback sports bra. The reason why I'm doing this right here is because um, there's no bra pads in the Racerback, so keep that in mind. This is perfect for my yogi babes who wanna wear a little bit less, feel their bodies a little bit more. Also really good for, say, sleeping at night or wearing a baggier tank over top. This is good for that if you need that little in-between support, but it's not something I would wear just straight up to the gym and let my nips out kind of thing. These are definitely thicker straps than everything else you've seen here. It's a full-on racer bag, so it's medium support. I feel it, it's, it's a definitely a more supportive bra. There's not as much cleavage showing on this one. It's more of a functional sports bra, but definitely keep in mind there's no padding at all. There's no little inserts either, like you, you can't put your own padding in here. So keep that in mind if you're looking into the racer back. Medium support bra, you gonna just have to let it out, girl. So Gymshark is coming out with beautiful burgundy colors in their training. Oh my God. Woo! This is what I'm talking about, okay? They're starting to mix the full colors early and I'm kind of here for it. This is their zip up bra and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't really have many other zip ups. I might have one other one, but after trying this, I had to, because when I saw that burgundy, I was like, yep, I need that one. I freaking love their zip ups. <laughs> it's a straight full zip. So if I were to zip this down, it's just like full on exposure. It does have bra padding and it's a medium support as well. Nice thick straps. How freaking cute is this? I actually love it so much that I made this outfit my profile picture on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. <laughs> I freaking love it. You have the cross straps in the back. You have a bit of mesh going on down here. So it's very breathable. You do have adjustments. So you can adjust this bra and a really pretty little keyhole in the back. Kind of gives it more of a delicate vibe. So yeah, I was getting questions once I changed my profile picture about what I was wearing in the profile pic. Everyone's like, what the frig is that? I haven't seen that. Yeah, man, it's the new training zip up burgundy. Highly suggest, you can feel the support in this baby. Not a ton of cleavage showing, but that's okay. And the zip up is just a really nice little accent, very sporty looking. So uh, yeah, definite training. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to talk about my favorite colors, but there's just, each one is just so unique in its own way and are gonna be used for different moods. <laughs> I literally can't pick my favorite colors right now with this new launch. I can't, it's impossible. I love those brights, but I also love the nudes and I really love those like neon-y colors. So I don't know, comment down below, which one are you like after? <laughs> Oh yes, it's time to talk some training shorts. Ooh, double burgundy, oh God. <sighs> Calm down. So yeah, girl, you already know I had to get the double burgundy DB. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't actually wear the training shorts and leggings necessarily to the gym when I'm lifting weights or doing anything crazy. Uh, it's very buttery soft. If you've never tried the training range, I'm just gonna briefly talk about the leggings and the shorts they're just really buttery soft, like yogi vibes. When wearing them to the gym, I'm a little bit self-conscious about like the plates and dumbbells rubbing up against them because the material is such a unique, soft feel. So I don't wanna mess with the material very much. This is more or less something I would wear at leisure. Don't get it twisted. The training sports bras, I use them nonstop at the gym. Their leggings and shorts though, pure athleisure for me. So this is the burgundy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. For a non-seamless collection, I have got to give them credit. Their leggings and shorts do not have a front seam. And I just, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Gymshark. So it almost feels like I'm wearing seamless leggings sometimes, even though they got the seams going on. But minimal seams is always a plus because you don't get the dreaded CT, you don't get any indentations, little discomfort on the sides of the legs. So overall, these shorts are buttery soft miracles. Okay, we also have the Iris purple shorts. So see how it looks with the matching scoop neck? Like, yeah, absolutely yes. I tested the squat proof. Burgundy seems to be completely squat proof on me. 
This, I would say the light colors are 90%. They're not horrible, they're not completely sheer. They actually did a really good job at making them as scrap proof as they are for how light they are. Because these shorts are such a lower support, I don't feel any digging in right here, but I do want to say that I notice a slight quad muffin. So it does cinch around, not uncomfortably for me, but it's enough where I get a baby quad muffin. Okay guys, so we have the Alpine shorts. I kept the bra on because this is an example of how easy it is to mix and match within this range. I love how simple the collection is. There's no weird movements, like there's no crazy contours. It's just a very straightforward type of legging and sports bra. Yeah, no designs, just buttery soft action. Ooh, you got a hair here, girl. Ooh. You got a hairy ass. <laughs> Okay guys, so we got one pair of the training 7 8s. These are my favorite when it comes to their leggings. They have three types of leggings available. They have full length, 7 8 which is what I'm wearing, and a cropped legging. I don't really use the crops, it's a little too cropped for me, but I do love the 7 8 As you can see, I'm five foot three, and they come to a really nice length on me. So this is in their color Niagara Teal. Okay, I don't believe they've ever had a color quite like this. So it's a bluish green color, very pretty, and it looks nice balanced out with the tan color bra. I think so. And it has a nice little uh, water and sand look. The darker colors are almost always squat proof on me, so this is no different. Super squat proof. I do want to mention that if you're in between sizes, I might size down because with the leggings they're very very much stretchy but they're form fitted around the leg so much to the point where if i were to like constantly squat you can slowly feel the slipping right here so i might size down to try to avoid that i wouldn't size up but yeah i know a lot of gals actually wrote to me saying that they have problems with it slipping this is a big reason why I don't wear it to the gym necessarily, but just actively going out and about, they've never like come all the way down. So they're very comfortable like that to just wear out casually. Okay guys, so this is a full length training legging in the color navy. So they're also gonna be coming out with sports bras in this color. So uh, keep an eye out. If you like matching sets, you could do that. If not, mix and match, but this beautiful navy is just such a rich, gorgeous blue. I absolutely love it and I paired it with the lemonade. So even as a full length, it's not too bad. It's coming to a good length for me. Just enough. Any longer be too long. All right, full length burgundy. Hello. See, I told you, when burgundy is available, I always have to get it. I love a nice warm hot tone, especially when it could dual as a nice like deep summer color or early fall. Girl, I know that you see the training crop sweaters, right? Don't you? Their cropped hoodies are such a great addition to the collection. It's just a nice little plop it right over top kind of deal. It's literally a crew sweater, just cut right in half. I love the angle of it. If you notice, it goes from low to high. So it's super flattering. I love that fold. Like it just kind of folds nicely to the back, keeps you a little bit covered up, but then right in the front, it comes up really high. So I think it gives a really nice, delicate, but yet sporty kind of look. It's not necessarily something I would train in. I would warm up in it and then take it off or just wear out athleisurely, but it's not very breathable. It's more or less like cottony base. You do have a stretch to it still though. So it's very, very, very comfortable. Crews are my favorite. This is no different and they're coming out with a ton of new colors. Here we got that glitch yellow. We also have an athletic gray. You can't go wrong with gray, okay? <laughs> gray is such a classic sweats kind of look. So I feel like you just throw this on top of any color legging or shorts and you're good to go. And wow, we got it in this lava pink color. So it's a mixture between pink and a red. Red, why? I, don't, I just don't understand why I say these things. Where does it come from? So it's like a mixture between pink and red. Lava pink. Ooh, don't get it twisted. This is not that burgundy color. It is a color of its own. Oh, they're coming out with some cropped hoodies as well. This is the lemonade color you've been seeing. Ooh. So this one's different than the training crop sweater you just saw. Number one, it has a hood. 
Number two, it's a little bit longer in length in the front here, as you can see. It's a little more all around, one length, not so high cut. So you got more of a fleecy softness, almost like a blanket inside. Yeah, so definitely something I'm gonna snuggle up in. The hood is nice and light, doesn't bog you down. It's overall such a cute, cozy vibe. Last but not least, I'm preparing for fall. We have yet another burgundy color in the full length zip. I do think you could size down in these. I personally wouldn't size down in other training sweaters, but this one, I would. I just would. Very comfortable, super cozy, really nicely lined with that same soft fleecy kind of vibe. All right guys, so what are your thoughts on the new training colors that are launching? Again, since there's no release date just yet, stay posted on my Instagram stories because the second I find out when they're launching, you will too. Comment down below what your favorite colors were. I can't choose still, but I think, uh, I talked a lot about the burgundy and um, I think it's kind of speaking to my soul. So you know me, I love those rich fall colors. As always, if there's any questions, drop me a comment. Again, these are just the colors that I have, but please keep in mind, they're gonna be coming out with full length zips, tank tops, essential tees, a lot more. The only thing I didn't see is new bandos. <laughs> so uh, in case you're wondering about that, I'm not too sure, but everything else is totally launching in a bunch of beautiful colors. So keep your eyes peeled because this launch is going to be a big one. Again, definitely check out my training videos that I have with the full review if you're new to this collection. And thank you all so much. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on IG so you don't miss out on any updates. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.